Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the United News, where we are committed to bringing you good news during this bad time. My name is Shane, and I will be your host, joined from a safe distance, of course, by my co-host, Jordan Murphy. Jordan, how you doing tonight? I'm doing great. I'm feeling fresh. I'm feeling clean. Ever since we finished the book of Joshua as a church, I no longer feel the need to look like I'm about to lead the people on a conquest into the promised land. Yo, speaking of looking good, you're looking nice in that suit, Shane. Hey, thank you, Jordan. During this quarantine, I haven't always looked this nice, though. As a dad, I've been trying to find ways to keep my son entertained. Let's go to our first segment, Quarantine Dad Fails. I'm home! Yes, Weston's gonna love this. Look at boy. Fine. Oh man, Weston is gonna love this. Yay! Bro, how you doing with this thing, man? Yeah, nail polish and tea parties over here all day. That's right, it has been quite the month in the Ruland household. Weston learned how to skateboard. But not only has it been quite the month in the Ruland household, it has been quite the month here at Compass Bible Church. And here at the United News, we want to make sure you know God is still working even when you don't see it. That's right, everybody, we've got confetti. So this week as a church, we read through 1 Peter, and Shane went live on Instagram every day at 9 a.m. A lot of people were joining us. It was awesome. We even had some special guest leaders from United, such as Jody Aiden and Foster Ringer. We were also joined by a special guest, Haley Rulin, on a special husband and wife edition, where Haley was able to teach some of the young ladies in United. Lastly, we were joined by some people who were sharing their testimonies, Sam Marin, Zach Van Warnenberg, and Madison Cash Money. But actually, my personal favorite was when Zorro joined us. Good morning, Connor. Good morning, Shane. How you doing? Nice facial hair, man. Thank you. You too. Quarantine beard is coming in thick and heavy. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's the perfect time. So I can't wait to see who makes an appearance this week on Instagram Live. That's right, Jordan. And now we're actually going to go to a segment called SOTD Student Report. Let's go to Sydney Urbina and hear what she learned from 1 Peter this past week. Hey guys, I'm Sydney. I'm a senior at Marina and just in this time I've really loved reading through SOTD with Compass and just getting to finish the law and go through Joshua and I was so excited to hear that 
We were going through 1 Peter because Peter writes this letter to the scattered Christians and that relates to us so much in this time. And just for me, getting to read through and really dive into 1 Peter this past week has been so encouraging and reviving to me, just getting to see this living hope that we have through Jesus' resurrection, that we have a confident expectation in Him and just getting to see that we have a future inheritance that is imperishable, undefiled and unfading and that has gotten me so exciting just to see that and just realizing that this is not my home that i can have a joy in christ because i am not home yet and i don't have to focus on this situation or my circumstances but i can just praise the lord through it and just have joy and too, just reading through first peter as it talks about trials i really loved first peter verses six and seven which says in this you rejoice now for a little while if necessary you have been grieved by various trials so that the tested genuineness of your faith more precious than gold that perishes through it is tested by fire may be found to result in praise and glory and honor at the revelation of Jesus Christ. Just seeing how if we endure through this trial, there will be praise and glory and honor at the revelation of Jesus Christ. And that's just encouraged me so much to have faith and to really just trust in the Lord in this time and not focus on what's going on, but just increase my faith in God. Hey, praise the Lord, Sydney. Thank you so much for sharing that with us. But not only have students been reading the Word during quarantine, there have actually been many families who have started to read the Bible together during this time. We also had virtual small groups this week. And even though the small groups were virtual, there were still some students who managed to be late. Let's actually go live behind the scenes with Cameron Wilhite attempting to join a small group. Hey bro, what's up? I thought we were doing the small group hangout at like 8.30. Hey Cameron, thanks for making it to small groups tonight. Hey, yeah, no problem. Uh, I just finished making dinner and it took longer than I thought, but yeah, I'm here now, so that's what matters. Yeah, that was really encouraging, and the point that stood out to me during the hey, sermon. Hey, guys, guys, I'm here. I made it. What's up? Oh, hey, Cameron. Yeah, Lucas was uh, great to see you. He was just sharing. Oh, dude. Uh, yeah, I. sorry, guys. I was late. I, I couldn't find my computer anywhere, so I just had to end up using my phone. Dude, I swear, like, five more minutes. Where's my Bible? What? So if that's not relatable, I don't know what is. So guys, please take small groups seriously. Don't be late anymore. 
Hey, Jordan, you know what's one of the things I've been missing a lot during this it? time? Tell us. I've been missing Sam Marin leading us in worship. Mm, amen. I actually heard that Sam has so much free time on his hands right now that he wrote a new song he wants us to Ooh. debut here tonight at the United News. Let's hear it. Let's roll our next segment, Quarantunes. cities we're at least six feet apart try not to gain weight in the 50s where's my dudes we're all at home because of you that much is true hey there corona we've continued our persistence we've got zoom if we get lonely all our small groups on long distance sanitize ran out of max i'll improvise but i still look fly Oh, what this did to me, oh, COVID-19, no promise you for me, oh, COVID-19. It's a thousand people at the beach trying to find the ways to beat the heat, never ran before, now I'm running every day. Yes, my hair could use a trim. I guess I'll do homeschool again, but this one is to all my friends today. Corona, I can promise you that by the time that this is through, that we'll gather all again to lift his name. Jesus the same. Hey there, Corona, you can't stop the work he's doing. Yes, you caused a lot of problems and you left your mark on history like you do. get glory in COVID-19. Oh, to God be glory. Oh, COVID-19. Pray this now with me. Oh. You know, I don't know if I'd call that worship, but that was definitely entertaining. Hey, let me ask you. Yeah. Do you think that he really wrote that song? I mean, he was wearing a plain white tee, and that tune sounded pretty familiar. You know, I'm not entirely sure, but let me ask you, Shane, what have you been listening to lately? The past week, I've actually been listening to an album of worship. It's called Hymns Live by an artist named Shane and Shane. Shane, listening to an album by Shane and Shane. That sounds appropriate. But hey, let's go to our final segment. Pick that winner. Yes. This past week, we challenged all of our United students to memorize 1 Peter 1, 3 through 5. They had to recite it to their leader at the beginning of small groups. And all of the students who did it were entered into, that's right everybody, the Winter Cup for a chance to win a pair of Beats Pro headphones. Do you guys want to know who the winner is? Oh yeah, tell us. Drum roll please. The winner is... Sarah Basilous! Yeah, congratulations, Sarah. You will get your pair of headphones this week. So Shane, let me ask you, is this the last drawing we're gonna have? Are we gonna have any more prizes? No, actually, as a matter of fact, if you memorize 1 Peter chapter 1, verses 6 through 9 this week, and you recite it to your leader at the beginning of small groups on Thursday night, you will get entered into another giveaway. And you could win. That's right, wait for it. A United sweater. This right here could be yours. I definitely want to get my small group memorizing this verse. I'll make sure to hit them up this week. All right, everybody. That is a wrap for the United News, where we are committed to bringing you good news during this bad time. Hey, thank you so much for joining us tonight, and we will see you next week. Well, I thought that went pretty well, Shane. How do you think? You know, I'm going to be honest, for our first take, I think we nailed it. Yeah. Wait, dude, are you seriously wearing flip-flops on a new show? Bro, chill. We were behind these the whole time. No one will ever know. <laughs>